it's an easy job and it's kind of a fun job. Um, thank you, Mr. Syphax, for your, your wise words. Um, I do believe that we meet people for a reason. And I, I, like, God put me here and I have a plan, but my plan always changes. And one person that I met that um, has my heart is Roy Brinkland. Um, he's just such a special man. Um, he was the first winner. Um, he touches my heart because he's an amazing man. Um, he inspires me. He's made me a better person. Um, he pushes me. He's got me in a master's degree program. Uh, I keep saying, Roy, what are you doing to me, man? Why do you keep doing this to me? Um, but another thing that he has done is he has, um, through, through him, I've, I've met this woman, um, Juanita, and she is another person that, that inspires me and pushes me and gives me opportunities. And she doesn't just give me opportunities. Man, she's smooth. Like, now I'm doing Toastmasters in RJC. I'm doing, like, because I, who's going to say no to her, you know? <laughs> so, anyway, so that's kind of how I've gotten here. I work at Office on Youth. I work with teens that have um, made some bad choices. And it's my opportunity, my pleasure to love on them and to find their strengths and to um, guide them in any moment that I have to have a conversation with them, to lead them in the right way, to, to, to tell them how great they are. Uh, because a lot of the kids don't, don't see that and don't hear that very often. So we had, at, at my agency, we really push for that. And, you know, again, Roy is, works with me and, um, you know, we love these kids and we want them to, to take the right path. So, so that's kind of what I do on, in, in my day-to-day -day life. Um, so anyway, so the first recipient is Aretha McDowney. Um, she's a receptionist at H&R Block. She participates in the weekly Christian Sisters Transitional Program. She has a desire to reach out and help others. She regular goes, regularly goes into hospitals and nursing homes, praying with the residents. She also has a love for writing and corresponds with inmates who are interested in having a pen pal. She has persevered, she faces her challenges head on, and she continues to strive toward her vision and road to success. So if you will welcome Aretha McDowney. it would be no me. I just want to say thank you for everybody, especially CSTP, for allowing me to be here. Um, I just wanted to write a few things. Of course, I love to write. And my thing is four reasons why I should think positive. Happiness. A positive attitude awakens happiness. You don't have to be rich or achieve lofty goals to be happy. Many times we wake with all of the life problems, but what? <laughs> we still keep a positive attitude. Don't focus on the problem that will make it worse. Happiness does not depend on external causes. It comes from inside of you. Motivation, thinking positively will help you accomplish dreams and your goals. You can do anything you never ever thought that you would ever do. A positive frame of mind increases your motivation to succeed and get what you want in life. It will make you believe you will get what you want and you will get it if you just believe in the power. Self-esteem. Your attitude and the way you think have much to do with how you feel about yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, I love myself. Forget about negative people and about what they think or what they have to say about you. When you have a positive attitude towards yourself, hey, the people around you will treat you just like with more and more respect. Loving yourself, taking care of yourself, and being happy are expressions of just thinking positively. This would also enhance your self-confidence and your inner strength. People enjoy being
being around happy and positive people. The way to attract and influence people is by staying positive and confident. Hey, what's last? Better health. By thinking positively, you will attract better health as well. As you know, there is nothing more important to us than our health. You could be the most handsome man, hey, or the most precious woman. But without good health, and what is the point? They have to at least have one good laugh for that very day. Just be happy, and that's for now. Thank you. Wow.